Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Free Mode Heroes, where in this installation we're going to be taking a look at... Um... Hmm. Allow me to consult the Discord channel. Let's see... It uh, looks like we're a bit behind schedule. We're still kind of working out all of the programming and the production of the videos, but uh, we do have this one video which should keep us fed while we wait. So the guy that we're going to be featuring in this episode of Free Mode Heroes is a guy called Canuck, and uh, as the episode implies, he seems to have a fetish for the sea breeze. But uh, hey, the cast recommended this guy to me, so let's take a look and see if this guy's a real deal in a sea breeze. Or if this Canuck cannot. HA! Hello, my name's Canuck and I'm the sea breeze guy. I've been using the sea breeze for around three years, and I'd say I'm pretty good with it. It's one of the most fun vehicles in the game, and it makes me genuinely sad that most players don't even know about it. I'm going to be showing off what the Sea Breeze can do, and teaching the essentials for players looking to get into it. We'll be talking about best loadout, performance, dogfighting, bombing, best locations, orbital counters, and speed glitch. Let's get on into it. For the best PvP loadout, you want the standard explosive type bombs. These are the most consistent, they will one tap ground players, and they will do heavy damage to armored targets. You want the 7.62 machine guns, these will absolutely shred jets if you can land your shots. Chaff countermeasures, these prevent missiles from locking onto you for 5 seconds. Performance-wise, the Seabreeze's top speed is about the same as a laser's, which is considered somewhat slow, but its acceleration is really high. It can take off almost instantly, and it can reach that top speed very, very quickly. Because of its high acceleration, the Seabreeze can climb altitude incredibly quickly. Even the Pyro, the fastest aircraft in the game, struggles to keep up with the Seabreeze in this straight climb. Agility-wise, the Seabreeze feels and handles like a more agile laser, meaning you'll have no trouble outmaneuvering most common pre-mode aircraft. This makes it one of the most maneuverable planes in the game, and a good dogfighter. The only vehicles it has trouble with are the Pyro and the Starling, but these are few and far between and most players don't even know how to use them correctly. Helicopters can be tricky considering the Seabreeze has no homing missiles. However, any problem can be solved with enough bombs. You can avoid homing missiles by simply flying in a circle. There are other ways to do this as well, but this is the easiest and most consistent method. Your propeller is your personal blender. Used against enemy parachuters trying to get away, or chop up unsuspecting Mark IIs. Bombing is pretty straightforward. Just line up with your target on the map and drop when you're about to pass over them. Keep in mind that bombs have travel time, so the higher you are, the sooner you need to drop the bomb for it to accurately fly into your target. For PvP situations, knowing where and how to position yourself is really important if you want to come out on top. Even if you're more agile, a head-on shot from a laser or a hydra can kill you before a dogfight even starts. You need to know how to avoid that and the best places to do it. Places like downtown, mountains, and large bodies of water are the best places for the sea breeze. Downtown, you can use buildings as cover to block enemies' line of sight on you. They also add obstacles that pursuing enemies might crash into. Anyone who's watched my videos knows I absolutely love downtown. Mountains are similar to downtown except it's mountains you're using to block their line of sight rather than actual buildings.
Last but not least, using the aquatic capabilities and bites is a Seabreeze's signature trait. Putting yourself into the water at the right time can really throw your opponent off and give you the advantage if they aren't expecting it. You can get really creative with different strategies. For example, I'll use Yacht Defenses to my advantage against Jets. You can also flip your Seabreeze upside down into the water. This will kill your engine, but the plane itself can't be blown up anymore. You can also survive the orbital cannon with this. Speaking of orbital counters, the Seabreeze has its own speed glitch where you travel so fast that orbital shots will miss you. Mainly just for the memes rather than anything. Are you uh, ready to be orbed or? Yeah, go for it. Right, let's hope this works. Ah, see, you it missed, yeah. To do this speed glitch, the first thing you need to do is set your spawn location to your hangar. After that, close your game and start it back up. Once you spawn in your hangar, you want to get in your sea breeze and climb to max altitude. Once you get to max altitude, you want to dive at a slight angle until you're about halfway down. Then you want to slowly pull up. Now, you're going so fast that the game can't even render you. This allows you to dodge orbs and outrun literally anything, as long as you maintain speed. Anyways, I think that's all the time I have for today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see a few more sea breezes flying around soon. Thank you for watching, and a big thank you to Pyrome for giving me this opportunity, as well as all the people who helped with the creation of this video. Thank you guys again, and goodbye.